Welcome to Ed Harvest's Garden on BFF.FM.
to the fifth episode of the Ed Harvest's Garden. We're going to speak Spanish in this one. So, hola, ¿cómo están? Estamos aquí con Ramón. Ramón es the third. Y estamos con la perrera, a.k.a. Cristian y Ramón. And we're waiting for Aurelia to show up. Um, we just listened to a song called Keep It You. I had released it like two years ago, and uh, Ramón was in the song. Uh, he played the guitar, and uh, we had a lot of fun uh you know, singing that song. Uh, ¿Cuál es tu nombre, perdón? Yolimska. Yolimska. ¿Te llamas Yolimska? ¿Aquí? ¿Yolimska es el nombre? Yolimska. Yolimska, I'm sorry. Está comiendo uh, <laughs> cupcakes. <laughs> no, tranquila. Eh, estamos aquí en Puerto Rico. This is our first, well, this is the first uh, live broadcast from Puerto Rico. Uh, so I'm super excited to do this. Uh, for people who, well, nobody can see, but I'm holding a cup with a microphone. Why am I doing this? El que hable, whoever speaks, holds the mic. Um, so, Ramon, I'm going to start with you. What's your name and where are you from? Originally, mi nombre es Ramon Antonio Núñez Hernández. Uh, nací en Santurce, me crié en, en Trujillo Alto y ahora estoy viviendo en Guaynabo City. Um, y he estado tocando guitarra principalmente desde desde que cumplí 12 años. And I started um, listening to, to rock music, bolero, you know, everything. Y how I got into music, Tony Hawk. Nice. Yeah, it, 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 there was one day that, that I was beginning to uh, play this game from uh, a Tony Hawk Pro Skate 4 when we had the PlayStation 1. And the first song that I hear was TNT by ACDC. And that welcomed me to to music instantly, you know. And from there, I've been uh, uh, playing drums when I was five, and then I took guitar seriously at 11, around there. Nice. Yeah. Hello, my name is Chris. <laughs> Cristian Montañe, my artist name is La Perrera. I am a drummer and percussionist and recording artist from Puerto Rico. It, uh, I play uh, drums with different artists and I play all types of music from jazz gigs to playing with rock bands to playing with pop artists and so I also have a career as a, as a rapper and so I started doing music well firstly I'm originally from Morovis, Puerto Rico but right now I'm living in San Juan and uh, I started doing music I mean pretty much I, I, I was born into it because my dad's a musician so but I, I started taking it like seriously uh, I think right after I got out of high school I started making like rap mixtapes and and then I uh, later on in my career I started drumming for people and it all sort of just blended together and I ended up drumming for some people playing percussion for others and uh, recording with different people and also working on my project as a solo artist as well. So that's my day to day. Nice. Okay. Well, podemos hablar español, ¿sabes? Uh. No, 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 es que, yeah, me, I was a main vuelvo en inglés. Uh, so that is Cristian, artist named La Perrera. And he also has a band con Aurelio, which is coming in five minutes. He's, he's texting me. Um, Ramon, since you got here first, I'm going to put your song, the one you sent me. Can you say anything about this song? Well, well, this is a song that, that, that I wrote uh, uh, around pandemia. Uh, durante la cuarentena, yo, yo estaba hangueando con, eh, con una amiga mía y pues, and, and nos fuimos para la playa. We had a great uh, encounter together. Y uh, I wrote the song based on, on, on that time, you know. And it was a weird time, you know, because um, it, it was Pantamia, and around that uh, quarantine, it, I was starting to come up with songs, but in Spanish. And it was a good time, you know, because I usually tend to write in English. Um, and I usually, thanks. And, and, and I usually uh, go through this sort of indie rock vibe, but super, super English. And I and I decided to to write something that is part of my part of what is the, is my culture and try to identify myself as a, 
uh, as a writer with this new song, you know. What's it called again? Eh, la canción se llama Amor. Amor, which means love in English. In English, yes. <laughs>
Um, we have, tenemos a Aurelio aquí ahora. Y voy a hablar con un acento de gringo, porque yo soy gringo ahora. Me embusté. Dímelo, Aurelio, ¿cómo estás? Tienes que hablar en el micrófono porque estamos aquí, Flow eh, Humberto Vidal. Ahora dime lo corillo. Está Aurelio Adam. Estamos aquí junto a Ed Harvest en su radio show. Estoy aquí junto a la perrera, Ramón the Third, colaboradores. Comiéndome un bizcochito de chocolate excelente. Yo soy productor, rapero, DJ, guitarrista y hombre de muchas situaciones musicales. Y espero que ustedes disfruten este radio podcast que vamos a estar en la noche de hoy. Pues mira, yo empecé en la música a la edad tierna de los nueve años con mi instrumento principal que es la guitarra. Pero yo llevo escuchando música desde mucho antes. Y realmente cuando empecé a producir fue eso de los 14 años Con una computadora Windows XP bien mierda Y eh, una interfase también bien basura Y pues por ahí para abajo seguí Empecé a hacer álbumes desde que estaba en octavo hasta 12 Mi senior year en high school eh, Hice como 11 discos Y todo una porquería Pero ya cuando me gradué este, de high school Y empecé a hacer universidad Empecé a tomarlo más serio, empecé a sacar proyectos más concretos y pues ahora estamos aquí colaborando con Cristian, haciendo mis proyectos, también con Ramón, haciendo un par de cositas y muchos otros artistas también, así que esto pues se está convirtiendo ya en una posibilidad financiera para mí y Ed Harvest. Te voy a hacer otra pregunta porque a mí me gusta mucho lo que tú estás haciendo también de, de que estás en Mariola, estás con Marco, antes tenía la banda con... ¿Cómo que se llama este chamaco? Con, con el bajista de, de... No, no, tú no estás con una banda con Ángel, ¿verdad? Ángel Vélez o de, de Berkeley. Sierra, Sierra. No, no, ¿Tú no, no te viste una...? Ah, pichea. Nosotros tocamos con... Sí, sí, sí. Es que mi memoria es malísima, no, bro. Porque, eh, eh, también eh, eh, tuvimos un evento en el que la respuesta... Ángel Sierra tuvo un tiempo en... Ángel Sierra tuvo un tiempo en, en Mariola, pero nosotros nunca coincidimos para ese entonces. Yeah. Y, ¿Y ustedes todos han grabado en San Juan Sound? Sí. No. No he grabado ahí. No. Oh, I thought you did, bro. Sí, yeah, sí. Eh, porque es chévere. O sea, es súper chévere. Estoy tratando de conseguir una manera que esto no se joda. Creo que así estamos bien. ¿Sí? Sí. Tengo que estar así como un maniquí, pero estamos bien. Sí. Después que no tomo una foto así, bendito. <risa> <risa> Bueno, vamos a hablar rapidito como nos conocimos los todos, porque yo recuerdo conocer a Ramón Don en el CAC. ¿En el CAC? En el CAC. ¿Y a ti? También. En el CAC. ¿Y a ti? En el libre. Hacho, chiquitito, bro. Sí. Y jodíamos mucho, mucho, mucho. Yeah. Bueno, tengo una canción de Batallón Sónico que para mí es la que más me gusta del álbum. Lo voy a poner y ustedes pues, obviamente pueden decirme qué ponen después. Eh, aquí está la canción, entonces. Chiquita, esto es un clásico de los chachasónicos para ti. Con mucho amor y cariñito, el batallón sónico. ¡Cántalo! Entonces, dime qué hacemos si ya sabemos. Tú me conoces, no le temas que lo intentemos. Y desde entonces. Cachamos que si no es sincero es veneno, veneno Ya no tiene el color que me recuerda a ti Mi lucero, si te soy sincero Yo quiero de tus besos saber el paradero Entender por qué es que se fueron Si es que se mudaron para el extranjero Si es que se escondieron en un caldero Si es que lo avisaron y no mintieron Quizás se metieron al clandestinaje El punto es que ahora no encuentro el paisaje, no Teníamos un manantial pa' nosotros y ya nadie sabe, ¿no? ¿Dónde quedó esa pared que pintamos tú y yo? Vino un gringo de la ley 22, cogió la zona, la gentrificó Y lo que era nuestro mural, ahora son los cristales de otro coffee shop Me paso esperando el momento en que la lluvia ya no sea lágrima Extraño poder devorar tu lectura y sentir esa página Dime qué hacemos si ya sabemos Tú me conoces No le temas que lo intentemos Y desde entonces Cachamos 
que si no es sincero es veneno, veneno. Eso sé. Ya no tiene el color que me recuerda a ti. Que pase el tiempo, al menos tu recuerdo. Me acuerdo el momento que me lo vi, cómo sentí. Aquella precisa mirada, tan apegada a todo lo que prometí. Pero como un pensamiento pasajero, tu rumbo nunca tuvo un compañero. Desembocaste en un cuerpo ajeno. El cual hiciste tremendo guacero De esta tormenta tú fuiste los truenos Saturaste todo mi terreno Los frutos los cambiaste por avispero Guardo lo tuyo dentro del basurero Esto no son ni pollas ni balas Yo sé que las historias tienen dos caras Dejo la mía en la pista grabada Y así con canciones las cuentas están claras Dime qué hacemos si ya sabemos Tú me No le temo que lo intentemos Cachamos que si no es sincero es veneno, veneno Ya no tiene el color que me recuerda a ti Hoy saludé el sol en la playa Como hacíamos después de janguear Cuando pregunto por tu paradero No sabía ni cómo contestar Solo el agua sabe cuánto te quiero Me encantaría invitarte a nadar Sacarte a bailar debajo de la lluvia Bañarnos juntitos después de sudar Mientras hierve el agua en la tetera Aún le echo hielo al expreso No falta el cariño aunque sigas tu cauce Eres un río y un cubo de hielo Por ti voy a derretirme más Pa' convertirme en tu nube más Voy a llover en tu orilla más Pa' ver si algún día fluimos más Tú sé. Dime qué hacemos si ya sabemos Tú me conoces No le temo que lo intentemos Dime que entonces Cachamos que si no es sincero es veneno, veneno Eso sé. Ya no tiene el color que me recuerda a ti Tomo switch que te quiero dar bitch Agarrao del dash de mi civic Si te montas esta noche se chich Detrás de las canchas de la Palrich Y de la costilla de Adam es la mitología Pero Santa María quiero tragarme tus crías Si en la casa de mi pai no se aceptan baterías Me lo saco de la boca pa' decirle mala mía te quiero mamar el bicho en la 65 infantería Es que me encanta, tu matraca en mi tráquea Con ese manja el cualquiera se atraganta My anaconda aguanta black mamba Le paso lengüita a la puntita rosita Hasta que reviente como fucking dinamita tus jibaritos ordenando la vaquerita Esa gatita me mata como Rita Quiero beberme tu galón de tres monjitas Pecho pelú, el lobo a tu caperucita Me voy a sacarle luna llena a mi lobita Pa' que huye Mami yo te como el crico aunque no tengas toto Voy a lamberte el croto encima de una tumba coco Nada de callao, a mí me gusta el alboroto Que se escucha en tus puñetas de fajarlo a cabo rojo De la costilla de Adam me sé la mitología Pero Santa María quiero tragarme tus crías Si en la casa de mi pai no se aceptan baterías Me lo saco de la boca pa' decirle mala mía Mami ese nene tuyo me cambió la vida 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 Antes del internet en Puerto Rico DJ Ávila estaba bien rico Gille se hizo rico por lo menos famosito Hablándole de Cristo a todos los pobrecitos No te echo la culpa de nada, yo sé lo difícil cuando el pai no está Te dejas llevar y muerdes la manzana como Adán Te golpeaban por hablar, pisotearon todos tus sueños de cantar No podías ni pensar en mañana, viviendo tu día a día Aguantando todos los achaques, protegiéndote con ira Por eso yo no pude usar pantalla Por eso te burlabas de poncas enamoradas Por eso es imposible que me digas que me y no puedo llevar 
tiene a la mujer que me ama con todo el alma hasta tu casa Por eso está asustada de tener que defendernos de tu mente bien cerrada Por eso escribí este tema, ya no te tengo miedo Antes eras el grande, ahora solo eres un viejo Aunque te perdone, ponte bruto y te prendo Esta es mi vida cabrón, yo quiero a quien quiero De la costilla de Adán me sé la mitología Pero Santa María quiero tragarme tus crías Si en la casa de mi pai no se aceptan baterías Me lo saco de la boca pa' decirle mala mía Está sentado en el trono de Satanás. Y si es el pastor que se para en el púlpito y dice, eso no es nada. Que esa mujer deben compartir aquí. Eso no es nada. Que esa muchacha venga con zapata corta. Ya está sentado en el mismo trono del diablo. Me tiene que arrepentir. Aquí Colón, Sabacaya, aquí Amaba. Aquí Carlos Saloa. ¡Aleluya! All right. And that was Mala Mía by La Perrera which is here with us today, also with Aurelio and Ramon. I'd like to thank the donors for the community of BFF.fm because without you, we wouldn't be here doing this show. So thank you so much for being a bestie and thank you for your donations as well. All right, uh, that song was your song, mm -hmm. Christian's song, because yeah. it ain't my song. Tell them why, what, tell them why it's not my song. Uh, so Aurelio produced that song that's a particularly special tune because it started out as a joke that uh, Aurelio and and Edward would make in the studio. Um, hmm? Bueno, yeah, yeah, pero... Yeah. Huh? You don't remember? So Aurelio would say, Mamando bicho la seis cinco. In the studio, you don't remember that? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. But are you talking about not talking about the name, Mala Mia, right? No, I'm talking about the lyrics, the lyrics for the song. I remember that. So off of that first bar, I just wanted to make, you know, I, I just want to express some. I stand with the LGBTQ plus community. That is why I made this song, L LGBTQ plus. So uh, I made this song, and the mission was to make the gayest rap song ever. And so that that's what Mala Mia is, man. It's a bit more about, it's more than that. You know, it's talking about family issues and masculinity and growing up in a Christian household. But uh, it started out as trying to make the best gay rap song. And I think I really did that. I don't care if there's other gay rappers out there. I feel like my, my song has the best. I mean, Eminem's gay. The sack, he said it. Well, um, I feel like then I might be a second place. Se second place, second place, gayest rapper. Okay. Yeah, so that's uh, that's that's the story of that song. Yeah, man, it's a milestone to be behind a legend like that. So that's the that's the story of that song. Aurelio produced it. And actually, we we started making that in Boston when cuando, when you and me went to New York. Yeah. Yeah, we. I, I got the sample there. Okay. Yeah. From what? Uh, somebody sent it to me, but but I I was listening to the sample in New York as we were there. Yeah. On this little damn mic. <laughs> hey, I just took. Yeah, I got a five-fold dish mic. Uh, I just took the sample. Shopped that up on the last day of Chris and his trip. Um, just took the sample, shopped that up, put some drums on it. Damn beat is done. Yeah, it yeah. It, it was a nice beat. It was very sporadic, you know. It's a nice beat. Yeah, I like man. Like Say that again for the church. It was quite an exotic beat, for sure. You know, it's the first time we've ever heard this, the word exotic in this show. So can we get another clap, please? I'm going to have a plaque of you sometime, someday. We're talking about Ramon, so people don't get it incorrect. So what is the last song that you wrote, Ramon? What was it about, even if it's personal? We want to know. Whale. Um... 
Claro, claro. Por supuesto. <risa> sí, se lo ya. We gotta represent, represent. Interesting. Nice. Wow. Um, primero que todo, salto shout out to San Francisco. Eh, quería, pues, la última canción que yo compuse um, es sobre caminar en San Juan con alguien, en verdad. Como que eh, esto todavía yo yo no lo lancé. Yo simplemente durante estos meses yo estaba componiendo, you know cosas en mi nuevo lugar porque uh, I recently moved eh, para los filtros que es una área entre Guaynabo y Bayamón y he estado simplemente eh, componiendo ideas y músicas pero sí la, la última que yo compuse es sobre un chico que tiene super, pro, super problemas mentales y de la nada ese busca una morena que 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 lo acaricie um, o sea que, que, de, que le da como que como que un amor como que súper uh, intimate como que y, de, y, de, y, de, y eso ha dado a que yo he estado en una sesión de creating uh, intimacy you know uh, uh, intimate re, re, re relationship with myself and with people y pues I think that is what, uh, what comes or where the inspiration comes you know yeah Y... Yeah. Well, Tell that to the church. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you wrote that song about me. Are you calling me, you know, mentally not stable? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just fucking. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Hey, that's cool, man. No, it's that I was listening to to what you were saying. It's like ah, una morena. I'm like, huh? Sounds yeah. sounds like something I would have gone through. That's a, that's a great thing to write about, Ramon. I really like, you know, his his music. You know, has has cool taste, uh, good tones. Guitar playing, is awesome. Guitar playing is is ridiculous. You know, super crew and all that. Let uh, let me say some. Ramon, we don't have the song here, but I th I Ramon recorded a, a great solo. Con, we were talking about Angel Sierra earlier. Yeah. He recorded a solo there, and fue beso lento. Beso Lento by Angel Sierra. You guys should, should check that out. There's a great guitar solo on it. Uh, Ramon did that solo. It's really good. So, uh, yeah. I mean, he has more music, but um, that I heard, the last song by Ramon I heard, I, I think it was that. Well, I, the last song I heard by him was the one we just played on the show, but but that guitar solo on, on Beso Lento is really good. That, that's all I have to say. I can pass the mic now. You can pass it. Yeah, man. Like um, it, that song in particular. Make um, sure the logo's looking at you. <laughs> yeah, man. And 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 esa canción en particular, eh, beso lento. Eh, nosotros literalmente grabamos esto en en el estudio de nuestro amigo y tecladista de Super Crew, Luis Anchondo. Eh, shout out to to him, to Leos. He is also a tremendous guitar player, keyboards, and uh, also producer, just like us. E we literally re 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 recorded that in in his basement, and and it only took us like como que three takes, you know, to 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 do that. E yo conocí a Angel Sierra actually um los llameos de jazz que se hacían en el nie. Do 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 you do you guys re Remember that? Pues, pues antes de que viniera Zack, había un guiso que el, eh, el que Ángel Sierra tuvo eh, eh, como DJ. Porque yo, yo lo conocí dándole a los platos y todo eso. Sí, eh, cuando, cuando, cuando se introducía como Shula, que era su primer nombre artístico, pues él estaba en el, en el club, como que eh, playing DJ. Luis Horta es el primero que, el que conecta con él. Luis otra eh, no es... Es nuestro bajista de la banda Super Crew. Y de ahí, como que, en like a few, uh, couple of months later, nos unimos con él y comenzamos a colaborar en, 
en su, en su proyecto en proceso que terminó siendo eh, aprendiendo a vivir mm. eh, que by the way eh, shout out to Ángel el estre eh, tremendísimo artista and he has his new album out que se llama aprendiendo a vivir oh, which yeah, means yeah. exacto eh, que salió en diciembre ya está en todas las plataformas that means uh, learning how to live in English I think um, and also shout out to my band <laughs> uh, as well at the uh, at the super crew we have an album in the process también that that we also want to finish um, and in the meantime th that is all that, that, that I've been uh, doing basically como que working on different projects and stuff nice Yeah, just today I asked you. <laughs> no, no, because it, it looks like a lot of projects. And then today I asked you to join mine as well. It's a lot. It's, uh, I, I can't imagine. Um, I mean, that's what we do, bro. Yeah, man. That's what we do. We play with a lot of people. We play every single day. We live that life. That's what we do. We play. That's what we do out here. Playing and walking and playing and and. and Gigging and dipping. Bro, I'm overwhelmed. I can't take all this. <laughs> um, all right. Well, also, Aurelio sent me a song. Uh, do you want to say anything about it? Yes. Should I say it in, in what language? Or we just... No, nah, boy. I'm going to say it in English because it's universally language. So listen. Hey. I gotta say something. Good night, San Diego. It's San Francisco. Oh. Good afternoon, San Diego. <laughs> that was San Francisco. San Diego, stand up. Stand up, San Diego. Listen, this song that you guys are about to hear tonight or today or whatever, uh, it's called Dime. It's off my new project that is coming out this year called Mesada. It's pretty much a, a bunch of songs I wrote. Uh, That also sample music from my catalog of, of music, my collection of vinyls and all that. And yeah, this song contains a little sample. I'm not going to say what sample, but it contains a little Afro-funk sample from the, the 70s, uh, Ghana. Uh, if you know, you know. If you don't know, you don't know. And yeah, it's a cool little tune. Funky, I like funky music. Experimenting with new sounds. World music, worldwide, 305. Aurelia, dame, dime. You can search it on the Spotify and all that. E drop that. Drop that. Drop it. <laughs> Le cuento, aquí todos sabemos sus inventos. No puedo entrar en mil historias y trayectorias y la gloria, aunque sea veo cero crecimiento. Mira, la imagen está completa. Para integrante a viral el caso meta. Te da momento que tú aprieta y de repente se dan cuenta que nada esto era tan fácil como aparenta. Dime, ¿qué vas a hacer? Tienes todo y muy poco que ofrecer. ¿A dónde es que tú vas a coger? Esto va a ver y te pusiste a correr. Ya, ¿qué vas a hacer? Tienes todo y muy poco que ofrecer. ¿A dónde es que tú vas a coger? Si lo quieres todo, pero te falta crecer. Firmaste un contrato, depósito directo a tu banco. De tres a cinco días va a estar lleno de alegría. Al darte cuenta que tu firma no es por ciento regalía. Dime, ¿ahora qué dirán? Al ver que suelta todas tus quejas a tu fan. Te lleva más de un año cuestionando y preguntando hace cuánto eres artista o modelo en Instagram. Dime, ¿qué vas a hacer? Tienes todo y muy poco que ofrecer. ¿A dónde es que tú vas a coger? Esto va a y te pusiste a correr. ¿Qué vas a hacer? Tienes todo y muy poco que ofrecer. ¿A dónde es que tú vas a coger? Si lo quieres todo, pero te falta crecer.
You have a medal on your head? No, nah, I, I Are you a metal head? Yeah, man, I am a metal head. Nice. I love metal. Metal, like, like aluminum. I got it. And we are back to the show. <laughs> you want to say something? I do want to say something. We're back to the show. Uh, I'm going to be interviewing our host here. He's produced some amazing music in one of the finest recording studios in the island, El Padrino Recording Studio. And so, personal favorite, I, I got like a couple of Ed, Ed Harvest jams that I love. That's Cool Cat, Plastic Heart Lady, uh, What Does It Take? But, uh, you, were in, you were in Cool Cat. I was featured in Cool Cat. <laughs> I did that in about three takes. I said best feature of that year. That man said, wait, let me listen, this man recorded three takes. Fire. Fire straight fire, bro. And all he said was Yo, who is that? Three <laughs> words, bro. Three words. And those three words, man. The studio had to shut down. Yeah, we had to shut down the whole studio. We had like professional musicians that day and, and it was like nah they Man, listen, we had a great bass player that day. Like, amazing Berkeley professor, right? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, wait, that's a... Um, we recorded a song in Boston, Aurelio. Yeah. And I, Hernan, Aurelio, me, and a professor from Berkeley called El Fernando Huergo. Exactly. You know Huergo? Yeah. Dude. I was there. Oh, you were there, you were there. Um, we recorded the first version of Plastic Heart Lady and What Does It Take? Right? Exactly. Damn, man. Yeah. Wait, where did you record yo? Who's that? That was the re that was the cool cat. Cuz I invited you to the studio. Yeah, yeah. El padrino and Jorge La Boy. Jorge La Boy. Jorge La Boy, bro. Great guitarist, amazing guitarist, amazing musician, but Jorge, you know, you play with great musicians throughout your lifetime. You have an amazing career, but this man stood on that mic. Three takes. It only took three takes. Three words. I, listen. History was made. History, history and was made. history was made. Jorge could not. Jorge could never. But Chris went in there and he said, "Yo, so who's there's that?" Only one man for that mission. It is an honor to be included in the. Ed Harvest Universe, bro. But I was gonna say, uh, the question was why, or, or like your production process is a bit different. Que the the production process that we have, because at least me and Aura, we make music like very DIY. Um, like we make it ourselves. We record like most of the instruments at home. So what what um. What was your inspiration or where did you learn the production process that's like bigger in the sense that you get different musicians to record their parts and, and you compose like the parts and then you give them to these musicians and they record like do you like that sound better like what's um, why is that important to you producing that way? Well, that's a long question, but I like to, I like to have my own sound so I record everything at home. I'm not a drummer, I'm not a bassist, I'm not a guitar player, so I can only play what I want to hear. And then I have people who can play guitar, like Aurelio or Jorge Lavoy, and they can do it better. They can do it in a better, like, a, like Jorge can do a better solo than I can, or he can do a rhythmic guitar better than I can, you know. I can play sax, and that's my instrument. I have to sing, because that's, that's, that's what I do, you know, I sing. Um, but, but, but yeah, it's, uh, I'm very jealous of what I want my sound to be. And some people sometimes tell me, oh, you got to go more pop. No, you don't. Like, it, it's... Uh, I feel like with music, I mean, you said that you have to go more pop. Um, but I feel like, I mean, people have said that to you. And I feel like at some point in our career, since we're all in this quote-unquote alternative market, we have received that comment at some point. But I feel that your music is specific. I mean, it is not pop in the in the sense that we know it but i feel that it's very accessible to to people 
You know, I feel like you make music that is, you know, I, I usually joke around with, with Chris because we, we say like, man, at the, you know, me and Chris, we make, we, when we write down our, our raps, is they're more at the personal to us and our experiences. But so to us, it's so odd seeing somebody just write a song about a cool cat, you know, yeah. or about a plastic heart lady. And we're just like, why is this dude just singing about random ass shit? Yeah. But um, yeah, what's cool is is that like, I mean, it's it's mundane stuff, and and that stuff connects with people. I mean, listen, I got cool cats stuck in my head, you know. Yeah. I feel like your music is, man. I love I love your music. I honestly do, man. And I feel like it's very accessible. But you also I like it because it has a lot of points of reference of music I listen to. You know, yeah. you're into rock too, progressive stuff. You know singer songwriters and all that and you know 60s 70s vibe that's what i listen to so yeah. it really does connect to me and i feel that anybody that wants to have something a little bit more than just the top 40 hits stuck in their brain will definitely vibe with you some i have to say too is that late um nowadays uh, a lot of people don't put that much production value into their music so that's something that that i feel like makes your your music stand out and 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 what's so special about it is all the work and all the studio hours and all the like when you get a, a very talented musician like Jorge Laboy to play like he he practiced so much that his guitar playing is is priceless por decirlo así como que that that gives it a, sp a special value too as well So there's that about that, and that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> I'm trying to search for a song here. Yeah, like I was gonna mention que what? I I was gonna mention that um, sometimes there's not much uh, music that has that uh, that vintage touch. You know, there there is like a community of people that are trying to keep real vint uh, vintage music alive, you know, because we live right now in a world where all these other styles, uh, trap, reggaeton, you know, uh, oh, oh, pop, all of this is leaning the mark, you know, but there, but there is also a, a community of people who are doing the, the, the opposite of that, And make it get still interesting uh, uh, to this day, you know. And and it's a community where I feel fortunate to see, and and I think that uh, the most of us does because it can also give us a sense of hope um, to lead us to do something that that we always want to do that is way different than that's what is a mainstream, super big, uh, top top 40 mainstream right now. And um, it's something that, that we should keep doing in order to have that rep that representation uh keeping going and keep do, keep making it alive until the end of humanity basically you know yeah, anyway, it's sad. yeah i agree i i have a, a lot of love for rock music and oh i met benicio del toro today oh, that's, that's my he's your cousin aurelio the actor yeah yeah that's my cousin fun fact i'm not, I'm not I'm, i believe you dude That's crazy. Yeah. Dude, I asked him to be here in the show. Oh, really? Not today, but like, yeah. I'm like, hey, man, let me do an interview. <laughs> huh? Hey, just eating. He was watching a game, a baseball game today. And, and I mean, like, yeah, like normally, mean, papa, I said, Benny Sertoro. I started shaking, dude. I'm like, dude, that's, that's usual suspects right there. That's, <laughs> that's fucking uh, fear and loathing, you know? Like, yeah, but. Boy, he, he's a rock head, dude. I talked to him for like five minutes, and he's just like talking about rock in Puerto Rico. He I've never met him, though. Oh. Well, he's not your uncle. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> no, he's, he's, he's your uncle. I believe you. Um, but I want to show you all something I have real quick. I won't play the whole thing because uh, I, I know you you guys think I, I do. I Well, it's not like you guys think that, but the perception that you have of me might change after this a bit because I'm working on some hip hop things too. Oh. <laughs> right, so I love it. We don't want to be alone, stay at 
at home and have no fun Obligations down the drain No real reasons to abstain Nothing to lose, everything to gain Young and reckless doing it again I guess you gotta wait for the right moment To be truly in love You're running through all these hearts that are really show that you're so far above Taking no time to think Only doing what you want to Giving no time to blink At all Going to another heart You always wanna make a part Even when you're apart You're really tearing up some love apart We don't want no strings that that's why we just tender matched Only doing one night stands Heavy things hoping not to catch In the end who you gonna blame? Young and reckless doing it again What do you guys think? No oh, man, that's that's that that's that weird stuff, you know. I like I like I like that weird beat, you know, those weird synths. I like the rolling like almost kind of like rolling desk uh drums that you got on them. They sound like an old school like drum machine yeah. from the eighties. I like that. I like the it's kinda of funny because yeah, I mean I mean I know you love hip hop too, you know. You you love Mac Miller artists like that and it's cool uh, it's cool because mac miller kind of like crossed the line between hip-hop and also the kind of in the the last end of his career he started delving into more like a singer songwriter kind of uh career path and and it's cool like i'm not i mean i'm not comparing you to mac miller by any sense but like in the sense of yeah of course like you know yeah here is this dude that mainly does alternative rock and you know he's combining those styles in, into one and it's it's a weird mix that I, I honestly love you know i i like that beat a lot that that bass is bassing those <laughs> drums are drumming uh and the, song is the song is singing and the and the melodies are there you know soulful you know i love that it's another ed harvest banger you know how it is you know how we do it you have an explosion sound there buddy I was going to ask uh, if that's just a demo and you were planning to release it. No, if you were planning to record the the vocals. No, the like the instruments like aparte. Yeah, I was going to or Okay, yeah. I didn't really think of it. Oh, I I just I was just asking. But I think it would sound really crazy if yeah. you record like live drums and live bass and live everything. Although like the demo sounds nice, or you could do both. Como que puedes tener with the triangle. Yeah. The, the, with the triangle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't think you could really square a triangle, but. <laughs> yeah, but you could triangle up, you know. But that, that was the only thing I was gonna ask. I really like that track. I, I'm I'm looking forward to. It. By the way, did the people here too. What? The the show here too. We did you play it on the show? What we just heard. Yeah. yeah everybody yeah. else heard it. I'm gonna put it there. Oh, okay, okay. I liked it a lot, man. I think everybody will enjoy that too. So I'm looking forward to, to hearing like the final version. That was a demo, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, the final version. But I like that, man gonna be nice well we have time for final words before i get oh we have three minutes for final words before we all have to go but i'm gonna start with you Ramon, and you can pass it around like a joint final words final words what can i say in those three minutes yeah it's right here well uh i also wanted to add a shout out to your song and and 
And I really like it too, man. Like it gave me this this combination of a little bit of Paul McCartney with with a little bit of Matt DeMarco because uh, Matt DeMarco kind of used sort of those styles too uh, in in some songs, and um, and I like the little whistle that 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 you put. Uh, like the whistle. The yeah. Whoosh, yeah, there was like a whistle part that you kind of did uh, in in some song, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it it was in a part of a song, and 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 it was cool. Um, for the last word, uh, I actually just want to say thank you, man. Uh, thank you for uh, inviting me to to this podcast, and um, and I just want to shout out to. To all all the musicians who I collaborated, my band Super Crew, uh, you can find our single "Find a Way" on Spotify and all the platforms of music possible. Uh, we'll be having a show with our dear friend here, Aurelio Dasme, in Santurce at February fifteen. Uh, for those who are listening here in Puerto Rico, be there. Like, have a good time. We are gonna rock and roll. Hey, thank you, man. I appreciate those words, Ramon. We love you in this building. Listen, for my final words, again, thank you, Ed Harvest, for rocking with us since day one. Uh, you know, listen to listen to all types of music. That's my final words for all the musicians and artists that want to get into this music stuff. It's going to be a rocky road, but, you know, make some mind scream out of it. Uh, listen to all types of music. You know, all genres, all cultures, uh, rock, progressive rock, jazz, experimental music, folk, avant-garde, industrial, rap, hip-hop, trap, reggaeton, dembo, ballad, deathcore metal, 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 Sovietic, Sovietic industrial rhythms, in Japanese, Japanese. (laughs) nah, but yeah, man, you know. Listen to all types of music. And we out here. Shout out Frank Zappa. All right. Final words. You can find our music. La Perrera everywhere. Social media. La Perrera as well. Ramon the Third everywhere. Social media. Music out. You can look us up in every platform. And Aurelio Adasme. You can look him up as well. You know, social media and our music. And you could also, you know, these people already know you. But continue to stream at Harvest. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's what I have to say. I do have a show tomorrow in in Santurce, 8 p.m. in Chuega. I'm gonna be there with Black Will. Uh, I'm gonna be there with Tiago Santa Cruz and Young Blood. We're gonna be playing metal, actually. So so yeah, man. I'm happy about playing metal too. So it's Black Will. Awesome. I know Asian Will. He's pretty cool. He's my friend. Um, all right, well. <laughs> uh, huh? No, no, no. It was... <laughs> that was that was the toilet, right? <laughs> We're having plumbing issues today. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. And thank you all for the donors uh, for being such a big part of our community. We will see you soon in the next big donating event. We take you s- take it care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah.